One of them is based on another painting I did, which is called One Cannot Skin an Elephant, Nor Can Two. It's about the spirit of the elephant and the complete understanding and intelligence and love that they have. There's kind of an African color palette with earth tones and searing yellow light. And the other painting I was doing was just a second painting. The first one was a commission, and they liked the painting, the original elephant painting, and it had been sold. So I decided to do something in that spirit. And The process of the way I work a lot, it's very ritualistic. So I take a Mueller, a glass Mueller, and I use dry pigment, and I grind up these pigments, almost like imbuing it with a certain kind of spirit, the spirit of the painting. So the beginning of paintings, the foundations are really important to me. I'm grinding up pigment, using linseed oil, and then applying it to a gesso canvas on panel. Then I go ahead and I move into things kind of like an analog, like life kind of moves in harmonious analog. And I do that throughout the painting, both uh, vertical and horizontals. There's pictorial language which exists. And a concept comes up usually before I start the painting, and during it, it kind of congeals and becomes comes along. There's a physicality in painting. A lot of people don't like to talk about it. And there's different ways of operating. Your body becomes an instrument. It's an extension of the brush, an extension of the paint. And I think that you have to put it all in. It has to come, th I think, through here, through here, and through your fingertips, and an extension. I think there's an energy, and it's felt when people see it. I think there's a resonance to it. And so I try very much to be very clear and very aware and very present when I paint. Words come to me very clearly when I paint, and this particular painting, this dark painting, I was thinking a concept, and then I found the word, and the concept is hypnagogic. It's when you close your eyes and you're still awake, yet your eyes are open, what do you see? Like, for me, it's like this deep kind of eggplant purple with light kind of maybe coming through. And I thought about this when I painted it. It was like one concept I had with regards to this particular painting. And I jot things down often, I write, while, you know, while I paint so I can sit back and see how that can be articulated without being too graphic and too obvious about it, but also to be specific, to be abstract, and this helps me do that.
So things that don't make sense in the real world can make sense in the magical world of a painting and of story. And then I arrived at the title. It's called The Thunderous Exclusion of the Hypnagogic. I think of uh, what it is to be shut out and, uh, and to be excluded. And the hypnagogic are the dreamers, that kind of, I guess it's called the oniaric state, a dream state of what it is to be in and what it is to create that place. Thank <laughs> you.